Hi guys. Long time no see, I know. Um, let's just dive into it, okay? I'm out of practice. We haven't seen each other in a while. Let's just uh, do what we gotta do and get into this. So, um, during my absence, I've received uh, lots of questions. And you know what? First of all, lots of new subscribers and, and lovely comments. So, thank you to all of you. <sighs> but without digressing too far, I've received a lot of questions during my absence and one specific reoccurring question and that is how the hell do you use your helix to record a di and then reamp um i know the helix is still a mystery to a lot of people and considering how new it is it's a sarcastic joke there Remember, I'm sarcastic. Um, anyway, sometimes we got to go back to basics. We talk about that. I'm. Let's do that. Let's let's. I'll walk you through in Studio One how to set your Helix up to record a DI, and then how to take that DI and reamp it through your Helix. So let's fucking do it, huh? All right. First of all, you're gonna need. A helix device in this case i have a helix rack as many of you know and you can use helix floor hx stomp stomp xl podgo in similar ways very similar ways slight variations in some of the uh techniques but the principles are still the same so i have a guitar here i have a computer here i have headphones here I have a DAW open. We're in Studio One. Now, first thing we gotta do is to ensure that we're using our Helix as our audio interface. So inside of Studio One, and I, I can't, I can't do this for every DAW, unless you give me money for that DAW, and then I'll do it. So typically I'm using my Studio 1824. What you wanna do is select your Helix as your audio interface and hit OK. We'll go back to our project with no name. Now we got to set up a few things. So we're going to hit this. If you don't know how Studio One works, you have a blank canvas. You can have your browse section to add your plugins and your instruments. And then here's your mixer. But there's nothing here because we have no tracks. But over to the left, we have this IO button. If we click it, it brings up our inputs and outputs for our audio interface. So here's our inputs. Helix left, helix right, helix stereo. Input one, input two, and then stereo. We need to create a new input so that we get dry signal from our helix device. We're going to hit add mono. We're going to name it helix di. And then we're going to choose either input 7 or input 8 because on the larger Helix devices, the USB signal travels through uh, USB 7 and 8. There's seven cha 8 channels on these devices running through USB. So for this Helix rack, we're going to use 7 and 8. I believe on the HX line of products, it's 5 and 6. Okay. Don't quote me on that. I know I've done a video on it. I can't remember right now, and I'm not gonna research it. So for this, seven and eight. So we have our DI selected at seven and eight. That means when we record our guitar, we're gonna get to the process signal, as well as a DI if we set up the tracks correctly. All right, so I'm gonna apply that, okay? We're gonna do one other thing while we're here. We're gonna go to outputs, we're gonna hit Add mono. We're going to say Helix reamp. And then we're going to select, you guessed it, seven or eight. We're going to do seven, hit apply, hit OK. Trust me, this will work. Now we're going to create three tracks one for our processed Helix tone, one for our clean DI, and one to reamp. So let's do that. We're going to add a mono and we're going to call this Helix 
tone. We're going to add another track and we're going to call it Helix DI. And then we're going to add another track. Call it Helix Reamp. Okay. So let's color this one red. Keep our DI blue. And we'll color our reamp orange, just because colors are cool. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is arm our Helix Tone and our Helix DI. And if I play, you can see right up here, we're getting some signal or down here. Now I noticed that they both have the same exact signal. Why is that? Well, because your boy forgot something. So in Studio One, we have the, our track, and if we click on this drop-down arrow, it brings our inputs in. So we have Helix Left, Helix Right, and then DI, right? Okay, so we want this to be Helix Left of our affected tone, our processed tone, coming, our tone coming out of Helix. This one, we want to switch to Helix DI, remember? That's input seven. Now, now you can see we're getting uh, different levels. They, they look similar, but they're different. So let's record a bit, okay? Probably just going to record some nonsense. Cool. Caveman riff. So if we listen to this, we will hear our processed tone. To be expected. And if we listen to the DI, we have a clean DI. Pretty simple. That is how you record a DI. Now, what we're going to do is send this DI out to our Helix that will then play the process tone back to our Helix reamp track. <laughs> I trip myself up just thinking about it. It's not that complicated. We're going to hit record. We're going to arm. Here we go. We're going to arm this, and when we hit play, the DI, I'm going to mute this. As a matter of fact, I will disable this. Um, Shift M. Now you know for sure that that track isn't playing. So now when I hit play, it's still the DI. Why? I'll show you why. We bring up our HX edit, or you can do this on your device. We're going to go to our input, and you see I have the input selected already. Right now it's on guitar. What we want to do is switch the Helix input to USB 7 and 8. So to summarize, we've switched the input from guitar to USB 7 and 8. When we go back to the DAW, what we're going to do, so we have Helix DI selected. Instead of sending the output of this DI track to our main out so we can hear it, we're going to send it out to our Helix reamp. Remember our output we set up? We're sending it out to the Helix, USB 7. Now, if I hit play, now we're hearing the Helix. Let's, let's make this something heavier, actually.
cool. Now we have a heavier tone. So now if I arm this and hit record, it's going to send the DI to the helix. We're going to switch this to helix left. My bad. Because what we're doing is re recording straight from the helix again, except we're not playing guitar. As a matter of fact, I'll unplug it, put it over here, drop the cable. We're going to be sending this DI out to our helix. That's what this helix reamp is. Remember? Our output helix reamp. We're sending our DI out to the helix. The helix is going to play the process tone, the heavier tone that we just made, and it's going to record on this track. So now if I hit record, There you go. Now we can mute our DI and listen to our new process tone. So we just listen to the difference in tones. That's it. It's, it, it. it feels a little complicated, but it's not that complicated. We just created an input so that we could have a clean DI fed into our DAW. Uh, that's what we did with our input here. Created our Helix DI. You're gonna pick se input seven or eight on the large Helix. I believe it's five or six on the HX series. Then we created an output so we could send our DI out to the helix and we sent it out of USB 7 again, output 7. We have our original track, we have our helix DI, and then we have our reamp track. Simple as that. I don't know, I tripped over myself a little bit, but uh, only in the interest of trying to explain it as clearly and concisely as possible. So, so if you need to pause this video, use the timestamps to your advantage. Use this as a reference if you get tripped up. The process is fairly similar to other DAWs. If you guys have a specific DAW in mind that you need help with, if I get enough comments about it, I'll do what I can. I'll hook you up. Anyway, um, it's good to be back, guys. It's good to see you. Let's hope that it's not several months before I post another video. The intention is no. I said that last time, though. So can you trust me? I haven't proved that so far this year. But uh, I miss YouTube, and I miss hanging out, and I miss helping. So here we are. I hope you guys dig that. Um, I'm not going to do the, the whole typical thing. Let's just get back into the flow of it, and then I'll add pieces as I go. So until next time, see you in the next one. That's a terrible sign-off. I'm out of practice. So until next time, take care of yourself. Be useful to someone. We'll see you in the next one. Rough. Rough, but somewhat coherent. <laughs>